Uh, well, thank you everyone for taking the time out of your day today to uh, join us here. Excited to um, you know walk you through some advantages of moving over to Starship and kind of speak about what Starship is um, and how you know the differences of ship gear. Um, we appreciate the time that you spent with us here uh, with ship gear. Uh, but since it is being sunset, you know, we do hope you see, you know, the benefits of moving over to Starship and, and we're happy to kind of facilitate those conversations with you, talk about any kind of process that you potentially might be having with, you know, changing the ERPs and whatnot. We're here to to support you through that process and really want to make this transition as easy as possible. So uh, I'm going to get started here, kind of go through a little presentation just about the benefits of Starship, um, where it can play into, into your business today, moving over from ship gear. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, so most of you know who we are since you've been with us for some time now, but wanted to kind of just give you a little bit of background um, of, you know, who we are again, just, to, you know, a lot of people think that ship gear is our first product that we put out there, but actually Starship's been around um, for for just as long as ship gear. You know, we've had about 35 plus years in the, in the shipping um, space here with a lot of different integrations to various different ERPs that we have. So, you know, VTech was founded back in 1987 um, is the, and is the leading provider of the integrated shipping space. You know, we've got about 10,000 companies that are utilizing Starship and, and really seeing the benefits of the automated shipping space and, and platform that we have here. Um, we've got various different ERPs that we integrate with. So, um, like I said earlier, if there's, you know, a lot of people might be doing enhancements or potentially going over to ERPs that are different from the current one you're using, Anytime that comes of uh, comes to fruition or the, that planning process has begun, come speak to us or, or ask us questions if we have a new integration that for a different ERP you're using, we'd be happy to see if it's it's in the portfolio that we have. Um, and kind of a cool fact, you know, about V Technologies, we were recognized as a UPS Ready Premier partner um, back in 2022. So huge, you know, huge kind of piece that we love to you know talk about since UPS is such a huge piece of a lot of people's businesses. We work very closely with, with them. Uh, for about 25 years now so excited to be announced that premier partner with ups and, and happy to you know continue to work with that partnership and, and, and helping that shipping space as well so main advantages of starship right so with ship here um you're really probably just doing parcel only right now but what comes with starship is it's a multi-carrier carrier shipping solution right so that means parcel and ltl shipping so a lot of people were, you know, a lot of customers were using ship gear just for their parcel and kind of doing LTL on the side. Um, but now with Starship, you have the ability to really tie everything into one solution. So not just processing your parcel orders, but also processing your LTL orders um, inside of Starship can really help create, you know, efficiencies and then help automate that process with printing of documentations, um, you know, rate shopping between your LTL shipments and kind of the same workflow, same view that you have with your parcel inside of Starship. So it's very easy, very similar workflows that you'll find inside of Starship to really help, you know, consolidate your, your shipping operation as a whole. And what comes also with Starship is, you know, leveraging line item detail to help automate, you know, labels and documentations for various different service levels, right? So what does that mean? you know, pulling over that information of, you know, values, weights of products. Um, so if you're shipping international, or like I said, for LTL shipping with BOLs, you know, pulling over class information, NMFC information, all that good information that's different from say a parcel service level, all that information can be pulled over into Starship um, to, to process those international documentations, you know, countries of origins, commercial invoices, BOLs, hazmat documentation from OP900s, whatever the case may be, we can support those three different service levels for you inside of Starship. So that could have been outside of your, your typical workflow um, with ship gear, but now it can all be brought into one. So, um, so uh, a lot of you might be doing drop shipping, you know, shipping from different addresses um, in your current kind of workflow and what you're doing in your process day to day now. Starship can also house different address IDs so we can show on the documentation that it's being shipped from a different location. So if that's a big part of your business, we can help automate that piece for you as well to really give you that, you know, streamlined process that you're looking for. And we can also customize different shipping docu documents. So if you have certain information you want on document documents or you have customers that require different things for the documents that you're shipping to, we can also have that conversation of what that looks like what can we put on that documentation and sometimes maybe need to get our development team involved, but we can work with you through that process to make sure it works for you and your business. Then you have the ability to consolidate orders. So you're shipping to like locations. You can 
kind of consolidate all those orders and into one shipping process inside of Starship. And once that's shipped and processed, the diff the tracking links for each of those respective orders and, and, and sales transactions will be written back into um, those specific orders that you have. So you can ship multiple orders at a time and still have the information written back to those correct orders that you're shipping um, at that time. And then of course you have live rate shop. You know, freight spend is such a huge metric that everyone's looking at nowadays. So being able to kind of take a look at all of your carriers and service levels um, inside of Starship can help you to really see the advantage of potentially, you know, picking a carrier that's going to get the order there quicker or pick a carrier that's a little bit cheaper. Um, so you can maybe save some money here and there and really help minimize that freight spend and save your company as much money as possible. And then what comes with that also is metrics for better negotiation. So inside of Starship, you also have the ability for different metrics of total cost, total orders with all the carriers that you're working with. So that gives you the ability to you know, take that back to your carriers when the negotiation time comes and saying, hey, we're shipping a lot to say the Northeast. How can you give me a better discount? So it kind of gives you that metric ammunition you need to, get, to go to bat with the carriers there to help you know, kind of give you those better discounts. I want to jump in here quickly to kind of show you the various ERPs we work with, some inventory uh, managements and, and WMSs we work with, as well as some EEI providers we work with. So we work with a lot of the, you know, big, big players in the space here. Um, so like I said earlier, if there's ever a time where you're, you know, evaluating a solution from a WMS or EDI provider or, or a new ERP system, we work with a lot of the main players that people are evaluating. So we, we have great relationships with them and can and can really work with you to help, you know, help you decide which one's best for your company, what will work great with Starship, what's going to you know, give you the best bang for your buck and make your process as efficient as possible. We're here to help you in those conversations and kind of give our industry knowledge that we have um, to really give you the best insight possible if you are planning on you know, evaluating a different solution or evaluating a different ERP system here in the future. So what is in the cloud? So Starship is a cloud-based uh, product here. So what that means is Starship is always going to be on the latest version. So you're not going to have to worry about doing a manual upgrade. You're not going to have to worry about waiting for that new upgrade to drop. Um, Starship is going to kind of facilitate that for you, right? So every quarter we'll do an upgrade. You'll, you won't see or there'll be no downtime inside of Starship. You'll just get a notification saying, hey, Starship's uh, been upgraded. And it'll kind of tell you what that upgrade was. So there's no having to worry about, you know, when the next upgrade's coming. Starship will do that for you. And you also have access to unlimited users into all of our carrier base, right? So um, Starship Cloud, you can have as many users as you want with different permissions. Um, so you, like I said, you can restrict different users on certain functions. You can give certain users just reporting functions if you want to. Just give you know, power shippers, what we call it, to your shipping team where they can only ship. You can give quoting permissions. So you can be very you know, customized and very specific for what users can see and do inside of Starship. So there's no issues around that or someone might not accidentally ship an order. You also have access to all of our carrier, uh, carrier networks here. So every carrier integration that we have, whether it's you know, LTL or parcel, um, you have access to all of them. So there's ever a time that you um, need to add a new carrier to your to Starship, you're not going to have to you know, pay for a new carrier module or what whatnot. It's kind of all included in that cloud-based uh, subscription. You also have a reduction of IT expenses. You're not having to maintain a ship gear server. Um, Starship kind of maintained it in the cloud of our Microsoft Azure cloud, so it's kind of handled on that aspect. And then you also have um, kind of tiered pricing for seasonality with different shippers, right? So a lot of shippers, you know, might ship heavily in the middle half of the year and then might kind of taper off towards the beginning and the end. So that's kind of great with Starship Cloud because you can also adjust your pricing as you become a heavier shipper during your busy time and a lower shipper during your downtime. So it gives you control of that pricing. So you're able to kind of manage your subscription on the back end through our subscription management portal that comes with Starship. Here's a list of the parcel and LTL carriers that we work with. Like I said, you know, a lot of great relationships with all the main players kind of in the, the parcel and LTL space. Um, you're going to notice on here as well, we also work with various uh, 3PLs, so Worldwide Express. We also work with C.H. Robinson. Um, so if you have relationships with those, and we are working on a Unishippers integration as well. So if you're using Unishippers, that's, that's coming down the road as well. Um, so 
anytime you have these carriers we work with great but if you don't see a carrier that you work with up here that doesn't mean we can't help you or can't work with you that just means we have a few different avenues and different workflows inside of starship that can help with those carriers who might be a local carrier that um, we're not integrated with we are still able to process those inside of starship it's just kind of a different different look and a different um different piece to it So what you're gonna see here, like I mentioned earlier, um, with the dashboard and metrics that come with Starship. So like I said, you get, you know, you have different charts and graphs, whether it be for total orders, total costs, however you wanna view that, you have the ability to do so. One of the main kind of big pieces that a lot of our customers like to use now is the, the heat map that you're gonna see here. So that's just gonna kind of give you an overall look at your distribution points, where you're shipping to most, right? Where you're not shipping. Um, so that can help you create conversations maybe around the sales team saying, hey, we're not shipping a lot into the south. How can we push more product in there? Or, hey, we are shipping a lot of product in, over west. I'm going to take that to UPS or take that to FedEx and say, hey, how can you give me a better discount here when that negotiation time comes? Um, you can also look at your top five customers. You're going to see which customers um, buying most product. Whatever the case may be, you can really configure your dashboard and metric screen to look the way you want it to look, to see what you need to see, or to see if there's any, you know, what your CFO needs to see, whatever the case may be, you can really kind of con configure this to look at the metrics that you need to see on a day-to-day -day basis. And then here's just a quick view of the inside of Starship. So the single screen view of what's pulled over from the various ERPs. So uh, very clean look, very user-friendly. There's not a lot of, you know, kind of clicking around that goes into it. Um, but down at the bottom here, kind of the main piece is the rate shop. So this is where the rate shop happens of, you know, you're checking your orders. You want to see which carrier is cheaper, which carrier can get it there in a better um, transit time. You just come down here, hit the little run button down at the bottom there, and that's going to ping all the APIs we have built with the carriers that you have accounts with that we're integrated with. And it's going to bring back the rates in real time, giving you that real time look of which service is cheaper which service can save me some money, which service can get the product there quicker. So it gives you that quick look of being able to potentially um, kind of reduce your freight spend in the single screen view here, along with all this other information coming through um, from the various ERP systems. So you're not having to you know, change from different tabs. Everything's kind of one space, giving you that clean look of Starship here in the very user-friendly interface. Again, here's just a quick look at that live rate shop here. Um, you see this is kind of an LTL example. Um, you see we're kind of, use, kind of utilizing our Worldwide Express integration here, um, but it just brings back all the carriers for you know LTL shipping with the carriers that you're using with what will be Worldwide Express here, or if you're just going directly to the carriers that we integrate, you also see that kind of here. It'll show you, again, transit times, the total charges that they're gonna be charging you for that specific order and which ones can get it there. So it gives you just that ability to be flexible on your day-to-day -day shipping. And the great thing about Starship too is we also have what we call best case shipping. Um, so that's also where Starship can kind of take over that piece for you and already pick the cheapest carrier off the bat. Um, so you're not having to go in there and rate shop if you don't want to, or it can pick the quickest transit time if needed. So it can really be an automated piece of it as well. Um, so if you just want it to come over in a Starship, your team ship it out, we can make that work for you. And of course comes labels and packing lists um, outside of Starship. We can, you know, print anything from a thermal printer, laser printer. Um, we can print pallet labels, you know, kind of all the generic labels and, and pack, packing with lists out of the box. Starship can utilize those and handle those. Um, you can get your UPS labels, FedEx labels, um, BOLs from the carriers we work with. Um, like I said earlier, we have the ability to work with you and create different documents if that's something that you need and your customers kind of expect when you're shipping to them we can work with you on in creating those different labels. Um, this is just one of our kind of examples for a smart label that we have, um, where it's got, you know, that sticky sticky label on the um, left side there, and as well as the packing slip on the right side there. So it can kind of get creative and help you kind of use Starship's labels and packing slips that are coming generic with Starship out of the box if you want to utilize those and, and make sure they look the way you need to. You have that ability to kind of take hold of that, that, that creation of labels. And then here's a new tool that's inside of Starship as well, which is our e-notify tool, right? So this helps kind of reduce the inbound calls to your customer service. And how do we do that? So Starship gives you the ability to create customized branded emails inside of Starship. So every time an order is shipped out, 
there's going to be an email sent out to that customer saying, hey, thank you for your order. But you can customize those, e those emails any way you want to. You can add different verbiage, you know, logos you want to. You can have it specific per customer, or you can create a generic email across the board. So, you know, every customer that, uh, that you ship an order to is going to get that same email. You can add coupon codes down at the bottom. If you're, you, you have coupon codes, you can bring people back to your online store if you need to. But you can give your customer your tracking links on there although what's coming in the different packages you're sending them so they can get this email and say okay great now i'm informed i know you know my my customer is shipping out this email but one kind of you know rule of thumb we like to tell our customers when it comes to these emails is go ahead and you know if you decide to move forward with starship and you're utilizing e-notify is create a rule at the end of the day to have those emails sent out at the end of the day because starship's going to send that email out right away and your customer is going to click that tracking link it's just a safe bet to go ahead and give the carrier enough time to pick up that order, process in their shipment, so your your customer has something to look at when they're clicking on those tracking links. But it's a great tool so your customer service team is not spending hours sending emails to their customers saying, hey, here's that tracking link, here's that information for you. Starship can take hold of that piece for you and really help you know give your customer service team some time back in a very tedious process. So what are you waiting for? So um, with ship gear coming to the end of life here at the end of the year, what does that mean, right? So there's going to be no more bug fixes or enhance, enhancements being put into the product. So, you know, what once ship gear kind of has an end of life, there's going to be no support behind it. So if there's a bug or if it needs to be up or once you roll ship kind of updates, it's going to be, you know, struggling to work, right? So it's it's not, we're not completely turning it off, but there's just going to be no no support behind that. Um, so we also have about 600 customers using Shipgear at the moment who need to migrate. So there's going to be a big influx of customers coming over, and that's just going to kind of push us into that um, that backlog of pro projects, which we're currently experiencing about 10 weeks. But we're expecting that to grow to about past 12 weeks for kickoff calls. So um, that's going to push us kind of in the first half of, of 2024 as we get further along, along in the year. So it's better to... Uh, go ahead and just get on that schedule now. If you're interested in Starship, having these conversations as soon as possible so we can get you on that schedule, um, get you scheduled with our team to make sure you're, you're getting in on the schedule before that 12-week kind of migration point there. Um, and they'd also be paying higher fees for you know, a limited integration, right? So um, that's just going to give you you know limited time with, with ship gear, with limitations coming with ship gear. It's better to go ahead and just get on that Starship product where you have much more um kind of robust shipping integrations with starship you're getting a lot more out of it and then we also have you know our special discounts might not be available in q4 we don't have we're not sure if we're going to have any discounts pushing into q4 we're currently running some different promotions now um, so it's best to just go ahead and be safe and, and lock in those dis discounts if you can um, you're able to lock those in and then tell us when you're ready to implement if you want to kind of maybe wait a month or two but um, like like we said, it's it's best to kind of get on that schedule now to make sure that you're not falling behind in that in that backlog of projects that we currently have at the moment. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.